Hi there, this is Chris, Chapman the Cap Motor Legends. Now, a few weeks ago, we did a video outlining our top products of the year, our top 12 products of the year. But at that time, we said there would be another round of another 12 products. And indeed, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about our next 12 favorite products. Nobody who knows Motor Legends would be surprised to hear, would be surprised to learn that our favourite gene is from the Swiss brand Roker. And obviously our favourite gene would be a single layer gene. Times have moved on, we have moved on from what were known as Kevlar genes or line genes. Single layer genes, because they have this strength woven into the fibre, are much lighter and easier to wear. They're nicer to ride in and they're nicer to walk around in. They're particularly nice to wear in warm weather, and that's because obviously there's no lining behind the gene. And of course it's in warm and warmer weather that most of us like to ride our bikes. Our favourite gene is this gene, it's called the Legend, and it's been created by Roker specifically for Moto Legends. The armolith fabric that sits at the heart of the gene has a six second slide time. So from an abrasion resistance point of view, they're about 50% stronger than leather. And so it should be of no surprise that they have an AA rating under EN17092. Now, our genes contain a touch of elastane for extra comfort so you can move around on the bike. They're very, they are a particularly comfortable gene to wear. But what we've also done with this gene, we've had a little bit of extra volume built into the calves. And that's because when you sat on the bike in the standard tapered slim on which this gene is based, you could find that your calves were just, they were gripping the, the fabric. It was a little bit uncomfortable. So we've just given a little bit more, we've been a little bit more generous in the lower part of the leg. They come with a zip fly rather than the button fly that you find on a number of Roka jeans. And they have D3O armor as standard in the hips and the knees. This really is a gene that you'd be happy to wear all day on or off the bike. And indeed, a number of us here at the shop wear these jeans for all day long. There are lots of great Roka jeans on the market. There's the waterproof single layer gene, the Revolution. There's the newer triple A gene. There's the standard tapered slim gene as well. But we think the legend is the perfect blend of protection, of comfort, and of style. We reckon, pretty much, it's the perfect biking gene. How can we possibly say what the best leather jacket is? How can we choose a favorite leather jacket? It must surely come down to personal taste. And clearly there's some truth to that. But we sell a lot of leather jackets here in the shop, and there's one that never seems to disappoint. And that jacket isn't the Ace Legend that we developed exclusively with the French brand Helsons. That jacket is a great jacket, but it's not for everybody because of the way it fits. This is the jacket that everybody seems to love, and it's the vintage jacket from Spiddy, the Italian brand Spiddy. It's made from the softest, most supple, oiled leather. The jacket is technically not exclusive to Moto Legends, but this version, with all of the Spiddy branding removed, is. It's one of the lightest and easiest to wear leather jackets that we offer. We particularly like its lack of fuss, its simplicity. It sits long at the back, mean, that means that it's more than just a fashion jacket with armor, which is, let's face it, what a lot of motorcycle jackets are. This is a proper bike jacket. If you want stripes, if you want badges, if you want logos, if you want race numbers, then maybe this jacket isn't for you. If you just want a great biking jacket, I don't think it can be beaten. We offer a number of taller touring and commuting style boots from people like TCX and Held. But the problem, our problem as it were, is that if ever you've had a pair of Daytonas, everything else seems somehow, I don't know, second division. Daytona is a totally unique company. The two brothers who set up the company, Helmer and Reinhardt, have been making boots from the same factory since 1956 and are still, even now, to be found working on the shop floor occasionally. This is a company that only makes boots. They are not interested in diversifying into other product categories. And the range of boots they offer, it's got to be said, is not awfully wide. But the boots they make are simply the best. They use the highest quality, most supple, hydrophilic leather. They will only use Gore-Tex. Every boot has a galvanized steel shank all the way along the sole. And Daytona will repair your boots for life. So, Pretty much, as long as you look after them, they will last forever. I've got a pair of Daytona boots, a pair of these boots, the Daytona Roadstars, and I've had them for 30 years. 
They are, it has to be said, the most comfortable bike boots you'll ever wear. And our favorite is indeed this boot. It's the Roadstar, the Roadstar GTX. There is a model above it, the Travelstar GTX, but to tell the truth, this is all the boot you are ever going to need. The standard fit on this boot is quite wide, so it comes out as a wide boot, but you can also get a narrow fit, although that fit in the UK is totally exclusive to Moto Legends. And if your foot is even wider than the standard fit, you can get an extra wide fit. The problem is that Daytonas, I'm not sure if it's a problem, but the problem is that the Daytonas are not inexpensive. But I suppose that comes down to where you sit on the price versus value spectrum. A summer waterproof glove is a glove that has a membrane but no thermal or insulating layer. It's the most popular style of glove. It's the kind of glove that most people would wear from, say, beginning of April through to the end of October. Although I suppose if you had heated grips and hand guards, you could probably wear them a little bit deeper into the winter. Our favorite summer waterproof glove comes from the Belgian brand Risha. Now, Risha is not what we would term a high-end brand. And here at Moto Legends, we are privileged to be able to offer a number of such brands. So I'm thinking of names like Rucker, Stadler, Klim, Halvarsons and Held. But we reckon that Risha makes some of the best gloves that money can buy. And one of our favorites is this glove. It's called the Risha Atlantic. It's actually got a spec that is a match for any summer glove, any summer waterproof glove on the market. The membrane comes from Gore-Tex, obviously, but not only is it a Gore-Tex membrane, it's a laminated Gore-Tex membrane, what Gore call a Gore grip membrane. In many respects, actually, this glove has a better spec than the top summer waterproof glove from Rucker, and that's in this glove, which is called the Virium. So you've got on the knuckles, you've got a lovely soft D3O knuckle protector. You've got super fabric here on the palm for sliding down the road if you should part from the bike. You've also got super fabric down the outside of the hand. This glove has pretty much everything you could want in a summer waterproof glove. It's also supremely comfortable. It is not an inexpensive glove, although there are many similar gloves on the market that are more expensive. But however much you pay, I don't think you'll find a better summer waterproof glove than this. In fact, looking at it, it's a bit of a bargain. Even we would have to admit that best cleaning product is not the sexiest of categories, but cleaning your waterproof motorcycle gear is much more important than most people realize. If we don't clean our gear regularly, it will lose its waterproofing qualities. And that's because the pores in the jacket and the pants will clog up with the dirt that we pick up as we're riding along, the road dirt and the grime. This grime dries, and then when it rains, that is going to suck the rain in, and that's gonna make the garment less waterproof because it will pull water into the garment. And it doesn't matter whether it's a laminated garment or a drop liner garment, it will do the same on both. There's another issue, and that's to do with the sweat that accumulates on the membrane. So we're sweating all the time. That vapor passes out from the jacket via the membrane. But when it dries out, that leaves a salty saline encrustation on the membrane. And again, when it rains, when it gets wet, that's going to draw water into the garment and that will bring it through to the body. So depending on the mileage, you need to be washing your gear. I think most people at least once a year, if you're doing heavier miles twice, if you're doing huge miles, that might be three times a year. Now, when you wash your garment, there's another thing that you should do. You need to reproof it because every waterproof garment has on the outer, it has a coating called a DWR, a durable water repellent. Now, historically, most people have used a product from Nikwax. The important thing is that you use something that doesn't contain detergent because detergents can play merry hell with particularly the taping on a motorcycle garment. Not so much the membrane, but the enzymes in detergents can loosen the taping that keeps the membrane in place. And once that happens, water will leak through and your garment will basically be ruined. We, however, prefer a similar product from a company called Storm. And that's because we think in some ways it's better. With Nick Quacks, you do one wash with the cleaner, with the washer. And then when that's finished, you have another cycle and you put the reproofer in. With Storm, you do them both in one wash. So it's a faster process and I suppose also more energy efficient. It's what I have to say we always use here.
In recent years, jeans have become the go-to as far as riding wear is concerned for many bikers. In the case of Moto Legends, of course, that's going to mean a single layer jean. But not everybody wants to wear denim. And so if you're looking for something a little bit more smart, a little bit more formal, the solution is probably going to be a chino of some description. Again, Roca makes our favorite chino. And it's this one, it's called the Cargo Slim. And as you can see, it comes in olive. It's got a pretty slim fit, but there's a lot of stretch in the material. So it's gonna be very easy to wear on the bike and indeed off the bike. It meets the EN17092 standard at the AA level and comes with armor in the knees and hips as indeed it has to at that level. Unfortunately, the armor it comes with is Sastec and not the D3O that we would have preferred to see in these jeans. But you can upgrade to D3O Ghost Armor level one or level two. Now the fit is not gonna suit everybody because they are so slim, but they're certainly smarter than a pair of jeans. And as they're single layer, they're gonna be pretty darn comfortable. They're not cheap, obviously, because they're made by Roca, but these days I don't think the price is gonna be quite as frightening as it used to be. Layers are hugely important when it comes to staying comfortable on the bike, making sure you don't get too hot, you don't get too cold, but there's no one single base or mid layer that does everything. So we're gonna talk a little bit about a number of our favorite layers. If you want something cheap and basic, then we'd go for, I think, the Halvarsen's dry top. It will do a fantastic job of that initial phase of wicking sweat away from the skin. It's incredibly inexpensive, about 40 pounds, and it will do a great job. When it comes to mid layers and we want a little bit more warmth, we'd go for Merino. Now, the best Merino in the world comes from New Zealand, the best New Zealand Merino comes from a company called Icebreaker, so Icebreaker is our favorite brand of Merino. It comes, or the tops come in weights of 200, 260, and 320. You would choose the weight that is most appropriate for the kind of conditions you're riding in. But if it's somewhere really, really cold, then you'd go for the 320. The thing we love about Merino is that it performs a number of functions. It, it continues to wick moisture away from the body. It will hold a lot of moisture. So I think it can hold a third of its weight in moisture and you just don't feel wet at all. It will also hold a lot of heat. So it has a great insulating effect and you could wear it repeatedly over a number of weeks and it will not smell. If you want the last word in insulation, however, we would go for a jacket made with down. And our favorite is the Maverick jacket from Klim. Although you'll also get something very similar from both Rucker and Bellstar. But in our view, the nicest to wear, certainly off the bike, is the Klim. It comprises 90% goose down and 10% goose feathers. But there's a second mid layer, I think you'd call it, that we think is incredibly important when it comes to staying warm on the bike. And that's the Zephyr from Klim. That is this jacket. The Zephyr is a gossamer thin windproof jacket. The problem with most mid layers and base layers is that you won't get any protection from the wind chill. So when you're riding on the bike at say 50 miles an hour at five degrees, the body will perceive that I think as minus two degrees and that wind can zip through a merino layer, it can zip through a down layer. So what you need is a windproof or waterproof membrane to stop the wind chill. And that's basically what the Zephyr does. Whatever you're wearing, whatever conditions you're in, the Zephyr, will improve your situation massively. There are lots of short boots on the market and frankly, they all do a pretty similar job. Short boots are not gonna be as protective as tall boots for obvious reasons. And in theory, they're not gonna be as waterproof because with a taller boot, the water has to bounce off the floor. It's gonna jump higher to get over the top of the shaft of the boot. But short boots tend to be more comfortable to wear and to walk in than our tall boots. So the choice when it comes to looking at short boots normally comes down to the looks of the boot, might come down to the color of the boot and clearly the comfort of the boot. But earlier this year, we came across a short boot that we really liked. It's this boot and it's called the Submachine and it comes from TCX. Now, somewhat childishly, because that's the kind of guys we are, we quite like the military special forces look to this boot. But it has to be said that it's a great boot in its own right. It's very lightweight, very breathable, but it still has all the protection that you could expect, including a shank that runs down the sole. Waterproofing on this boot comes courtesy of Gore-Tex, so it's going to be as waterproof and as breathable as a short boot gets. We also like the elasticated strap that runs around the front of the shaft that fastens with an aluminium buckle and stops the laces from flapping around. The bottom line is we like this boot a lot. 
There are lots around there that are similar to this boot. Some of those may even be better than this boot, but we like this one the best. Our favorite summer glove, that is to say a glove that has no membrane, is this glove, the Risha Squadron glove. Now it comes in this kind of desert color or in stealth black. It's an incredibly easy glove to wear. It's got a textile back, but the textile material is woven with elastane to make it particularly comfortable. You've also got, obviously, as you'd expect, a leather on the palm. The glove flows huge amounts of air. That's partly because it's got no membrane, obviously, but you've got these eyelets on the knuckles that, again, are gonna help air flow. Although you do have a very thin liner inside the glove, again, probably just for comfort. Of course, we like these gloves because they are a copy of a very famous Oakley glove, an Oakley glove that was called the Pilot Glove, and that was made specifically for the Special Forces. Now, that was a very famous glove, but it was not designed for the bike. This, the Squadron Glove, is very much a motorcycle glove. You've got a fantastic soft D3O knuckle protector. You've got extra layers of digital print leather on the palm. You've got touchscreen sensitive fingers. This is without doubt one cool looking glove, but it's also one of the most comfortable summer gloves you'll ever wear. All of which perhaps explains why the Risha Squadron is our favorite summer glove. Armor is armor, surely. It's the stuff you don't see, but comes supplied in your jacket, in the shoulders and the elbows, and in your pants, in the hips and the knees. And I think some years ago, when we first got into the motorcycle business, that's the view that we would have taken. And then D3O came onto the scene. Now, initially, when we first came across D3O, we were a little bit skeptical about the brand as they went around shows inviting you to hit a lump of orange Play-Doh with a hammer. But what fairly swiftly became clear was that D3O was indeed nicer to wear. It was soft, flexible, got even softer as it absorbed the heat from the body. It has to be said that it's not necessarily the most protective of armors out there. There is stronger armor, although these days D3O does come in level one and level two configurations. It was their ghost armor that had a particular effect on changing perceptions about what body armor or what protectors looked like and how they felt. These pieces, the ghost armor, they work particularly well when worn in jeans. And more recently, ghost has become available in level two as well as level one. So level two is a little bit thicker, but it's still amazingly thin. You still don't see it even when wearing them in a lightweight pair of jeans. But our favorite D3O protector is the level two back protector. It comes in four sizes, so fits a lot of jackets. Even comes with Velcro because some jackets will be adjustable with a strip of Velcro. It is super soft, it's flexible, it's light. In many cases, you won't even realize you're wearing a back protector, but it will play an important role if you do have an, an accident, not just in terms of impact protection to protect your spine, but in terms of abrasion resistance if you end up sliding down the road. Here at Motor Legends, we love our heated gear. And as the importer of warm and safe, we hold the American brand in particularly high esteem. It's the warmest of all the heated brands. It's thinner and lighter than the usual suspects, and it's more reliable. I wear my warm and safe jacket pretty much all year round when I'm riding my R9T. Sometimes I have it on as just a windproof layer, and then when it's a bit colder, I sneakily, when no one's looking, connect it to the battery. The Bluetooth controller also makes it particularly easy to live because you don't have a morass of wires. But when I'm riding my Honda CRF 300, a much smaller bike, I tend to wear this jacket, which is the Macna heated jacket. And that's partly because it has a lower draw. The American brand, the warm and safe jacket, has a draw of 90 watts. This at 50 watts is much, draws much less power. So it will work on a lower capacity bike. And it's even lighter and thinner than the warm and safe jacket, and that's because the heating elements are almost like a thin aluminium foil. It's gotta be said that it's not as warm as the warm and safe, but my view is that for most people, most of the time, the Macna jacket is going to be warm enough. It's also much cheaper than the warm and safe, and you don't even need to buy a controller because you can simply use these buttons, they're around here somewhere, you can use these buttons on the chest to control the four different heat levels, or instead of that, you can put an app on your phone and control it. You would mount your bike on the phone, but you, control the, you can control the heat from your phone. If you're not the kind of rider who's 
getting up at five o'clock in the morning to commute into work on a November or December day, then this might be the heated jacket for you. It's a great way in some ways to discover or get into heated gear. But for many, even so, this is still going to be the best option. It's why we love it. It's the heated gear that everyone can buy into. So I'm sorry, warm and safe. For now, this is our favorite. The reality is that there really aren't that many non-waterproof motorcycle boots on the market. We probably offer just two or three. So this is not the most competitive category. It's not the hardest category when it comes to choosing our favorite. But the Ridgeline boot from Klim, this boot also happens to be an outstanding boot in its own right. With its adventure look, it's one of the toughest short boots out there. It's got protectors in the toe, in the heel, in the ankle, and it's got a lasting board in the sole, what we would call a shank. It's made from a combination of leather with textile panels. You've got lots of mesh here around the boot and that's going to make it particularly breathable in hot weather. Now, one of the things that causes the Ridgeline to stand out from other boots is the BOA lacing system, which many people have come across on ski boots, on cycling boots, and on cycling shoes, and so on. It is so easy to use. It makes it a boot that's going to be really easy and quick to get in and out of. We've all grown up, let's face it, with laces, but honestly, on a boot like this, the BOA lacing system is better in just about every respect. You don't have laces flapping about. It's quicker, it's easier. It's just completely no hassle. Now, because there's no membrane in this boot, the Ridgeline has been designed particularly for people who are riding in hotter weather. And perhaps as a result of this, because there's no membrane, it's also one of the most comfortable boots that we have ever ridden in. But with its chunky sole, its shank, its protective tongue, it's even got D3 in the tongue here, its ankle, heel and toe protectors. It is a very protective boot. It's a heck of a boot. It's not the cheapest, of course, it's a Klim, but it is the best non-waterproof boot we have ever come across. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and liked at least some of our favorite 12 products. If you want to learn anything more about any of those products, then visit the website motolegends.com. Now, when you do buy from us, we try to make the process simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protective wear that you buy from us. Returns are totally free. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to, this, in which to return anything to us. We have the best price promise in the business. Now, John Lewis used to be rightly famed for it's never knownly under sold price promise. We go one stage better. If you can find anyone selling a product that we do at a price that is lower than ours, then we will beat that competitor's price by a full 10%. Now, there are a few terms and conditions associated with what we call our price beat. So if you do want to price beat us, I suggest you visit the website and check out what those terms and conditions are, although they're not in any way onerous. If in the future you'd like to receive bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business. In future, you'll receive our bulletins. If, however, you prefer to get your information videographically, that is to say, in this form, we'd be simply delighted if you wanted to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Finally, I'd like to make a play for our little shop here at Moto Legends, our fabulous little shop. We are based about a mile from the center of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. And as I've said, the shop is pretty small, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have more than three million pounds worth of stock arranged over three floors. Technically, that makes us the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the country. But we think that we are far more than just the amount of merchandise we have in the building. We're all about service. We're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. When you come to see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of our delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.